If you believe in momentum. If that's a thing. I have it. My hand is uh, shaky and, and cramping here. Uh. Oh, that's redlining, that's redlining. I gotta figure out a way to work around it. We'll see how this 10-pointer goes. And just hope it goes my way. And if it doesn't, I'm going down swinging. Well, burpees. Here we are, my burpees. <laughs> oh, it's gonna come down to the breaker. Seven five mark. Do we do? Uh, you want double or nothing? On uh, we said ten. Uh, yeah, we said ten. We said ten. 10. Yeah. So, so double or nothing. On, double or nothing. Uh, outcome, straight up. Okay. I go uh, Brody, you go Mark? Yeah. I, I think that's... I, my gut says that's a good bet for you. It is. It is. <laughs> Come on, Sansa. Come on, Sansa. Why did I not come in? See, right there, you gotta, you gotta commit to the process here. You can't hit and then decide to come in after. You hit that ball and come in. It's a must make. Oh, three. Come on. You're not committing to the shot. I feel like uh, I could hedge my bet by starting to do a couple burpees now yeah. to tempt fate to swing it back in the other direction. Maybe if I just do like three. No. Oh, I did a body. Come on. This is not the time. Come on. Come on. Come on. Clinical. Do it. Do it again. Absolutely clinical. Wow. If I would if I would have told you forty even twenty minutes ago that we would be in a third set breaker and Mark would have a six-year lead. No. Scott's got about 40 seconds here yep. to turn something around. Wow. It's, just, it's pride now. Like Scott's got yep. to put a, a point on the board. First serve. Oh, that's redlining, that's redlining. See, is he redlining now? Is he redlining? This is not over. Just eyes on the ball. <laughs> Sorry. Can I swear on camera? Yeah. Holy that was the biggest tree swing I've ever, I think he almost fell over. One nine. Oh well. Nice, nice one for it again. Go for it, go for it. Yeah. Yeah, take that. No. What a match. This is unbelievable <laughs> tennis. It's definitely one of my favorite matches that we've ever recorded. Yep. Oh, yeah. Scott. Brody Angry old man. He's not going done out yet. Like that. And he's still got a couple bullets in the Put chamber. Put a new tennis ball mm -hmm. on the bottom of the walker, and yep. he's ready to go. Play on my f***ing mind right now. Pump the shotgun, Brody. Kid can dodge bullets. <laughs> Here we go. No. Match point number two on Mark's racket. If somehow, I'm just saying, this would be <laughs> one of the best comebacks in YouTube history. If, if somehow, one at a time. I'm just saying. One at a time. Five nine. All right, five nine. Back. Yeah. 
And now Scott has put four points in a row. It's not nine five. Mark's got to go back to what he was doing in the beginning. Be solid. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yes. Ah. Uh, that's, and Mark has. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Hold up. Yeah, yeah. Still a crap in there. Oh, can I do mono on you? And that's where I, I you know, I gotta. I, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta limber up the. Uh, I gotta give, I gotta give, Kurt, back gotta give kudos oh. to Brody on the fact that um, he was able to make a, make it something at, at nine five. Tried to make it a little more interesting towards the end. Oh, Jesus. Towards the end, but uh, uh, he uh, he came up uh, big in the end. That's all I can say. You know, last four games of the of that second set. You know, I was serving for it and just nah, couldn't pull it out. I mean, I'm I'm not unhappy with the way I played. I'm I've got a lot of improving to do. I know that. So I don't feel like that match is a fluke. You know, I, you know, I think that we both probably played a little sloppy, but uh, you know, it becomes a mental battle when that happens. You know, I, uh, I'm going to take a lot from this one, just, uh, you know, I'm going to ruminate on it and just think of the, the things I can do better. You know, Mark's a fun, fun match to play against him. He's got the, the capacity to go super scion like he did in that breaker there. I mean, I couldn't believe some of the shots. I mean, I'm hitting big first serves and he's just slapping them back like, like, I'm, like, like I'm a fly or something. It just it disturbs him. It was, uh, it was something to see. But anyway, I mean, thanks for watching. Fun match to play. Um, I'll be back, and uh, you know this one. This one doesn't hurt as much as the last one does. I think um, you know it, it was more. Uh, you know, I was ready for it this time, and you know just didn't quite get over. But uh, you know, fun match. Honestly, that's the worst I've played on essential tennis singles wise, but it's also the most important because. It's really easy for you as a tennis player um, to watch a match or watch strokes when you're like completely on, right? But it's a lot, a lot more important to watch a tennis match that's cringeworthy, when you're not playing your best, when you're in a bad mental state of mind. And for me, it's this tennis match against my good friend and mentor, Scott. This is gonna be the tennis match that I watch the most out of any essential tennis matches I've played because I wanna see what went wrong. And I challenge you guys out there to not just learn how to record yourself playing tennis because it's overall good for the game and it saves you a lot of money from group lessons, private lessons, and take those too, don't get me wrong. But you could critique yourself better. Like, oh, when I'm not, not having a good day, it's because my contact point is late or my footwork is bad or I'm not swinging out on the ball that's easier for you to see your flaws as a tennis player when you record yourself. So I know it's not easy, but you guys have to do it. It's a lot more important than watching yourself when you're playing well. So if you guys haven't already, check out playyourcourt.com ET. They now have challenge brackets, which is what me and Scott are doing. And then we have two competitors. One may or may not be up there right now facing another opponent that has been on essential tennis for quite a bit and they play the winner, which in this case, thankfully, was me. And overall, I'll talk about this in the interview, I was not in a good mental state of mind for the first, I would argue, both sets. Maybe the last game of the second set I did all right, but it just wasn't working, so I just kept on fighting. So let's take a book from, uh, take a page from the book of Alex, who played here. You gotta win ugly. And as always, guys, happy hitting. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we will be graced at the presence of Ian owning up his bet. He now owes 20 burpees. 10 for the, my correct call of Mark 7-5 in the second set, and now 10 more because he went double or nothing to, uh, to for who won the tiebreak. I called Sunset and he took Brody. It's sitting for two hours, I gotta make sure I don't, <laughs> I don't pull a hammy. <laughs> All right, 20, That's, right? Yep. It's a full push up and jump. Yep, that's one. That's two. Five. Oh, that one he barely got off the ground. Six. There we go. <laughs> See, we were so Seven. <laughs> that's ten. Ten more, brah. Sixteen. He is a man of his word. Nineteen. One more. 
20. <sighs> Getting too old for that. No, never, never. All right, gentlemen, first of all, thank you for playing. Yeah, well fought. Awesome. Uh, as Michael and I were, were talking up uh, above, um, it's one thing to play well and problem solve a match and work on you know patterns and try different shot selections and stuff like that. But when uh, one or both players is not having their best day, a lot of times that's like the strongest mark of a competitor. Yeah. Just find some way, like what the hell do I have to work with today yeah. to figure something out that I can maybe grab a little bit of momentum. Um, and I think that was kind of the theme that came up most for us. Uh, it was, what's your guys, I guess, reaction and response to that? that that's 100% that? spot on. I mean, that, it, was a, it was an ugly match. You know, I don't think either one of us, um, either one of us played the way we wanted to play. Uh, you know, I, I, I started off, you know, with my strategy and, and, and tried to hold with it. But, um, you know, Mark kind of saw through it and started playing it back. So we got, we got to playing a little bit of 12 and under tennis for a while. You know, but I mean, again, it, it was a, it was a, a mental game more than a physical game. You know, and then it turned into a physical game towards the end there, where, you know, like I got <laughs> slapped a couple of times. There. <laughs> it, was, I mean, it was good stuff. Was we good, have good. to believe that. I, th I think we probably should. Yeah, we probably should just to be safe. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I got backhanded. How about I got backhanded. Okay. But I mean, it was a, it was a, you know, it, it was a, a mental match, and you know that I. I went into it knowing that I couldn't mentally slip, you know, that regardless of how I was playing, I had to be, you know, I had to have fortitude because one of Mark's strengths is that he's, you know, he's a guy who gets to breakers and plays well. You know, he's a guy who gets to, you know, the third set and relishes the fight. And, you know, you, you've seen that from other matches he's played, you know, against Dill, against, you know, I mean, a couple of our league matches, he's had some real close ones that he just comes out. I think his favorite score is 10-8 in the third. As far as I know, six right? nine. Six nine. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And, and then what? Then the guy quits. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, they quit because they're yeah. they realize they're playing as a fourteen year old, or humor wise, but um, toxic. Yeah. No. Ten ten eight is like a common score in yeah, super yeah. tie based oh, streaming yeah. for yeah. some reason. So. I was trying to bring it there, but you know, yeah. was it six five six? six yeah. Five six, six, six five. five. Yeah. yeah. And um, for my confessional too. Um, yeah, like seventy five percent of it was just like fighting when I'm in a deep hole which, you know, it was pretty obvious where I was, there it is, <laughs> um, along with this rope. But um, just like, uh, and I made several references in the EC metaverse, or ET metaverse, is how well are you going to do, how much are you going to fight when you're not playing good tennis? Yeah. And that was literally the theme for 75% of my um, confessional in the camera. So, you know, I took a page out of Alex's book, and, you know, thank you, Alex, if you're watching, yeah. you better be. Um, that you just got to keep fighting. Whether you win or lose, you just got to keep fighting. So I, get, I think if I gave up, you would have won 7-6, 6-3, 6-4. I, 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 I mean, I, I expected to break you when you were serving at 3-5 just because of the, that, of, the, of the, I guess, the psychological ebb and flow of the match. I felt like I yeah. was on that. And I, and I had looks. I yeah. just didn't quite do it. And then, you know, I was serving for it, feeling confident. And, you know, I think that you... You know, you, you said what the heck and, and, and went for your shots more and, and really kind of turned it around there. And I think that, that break at 5-4 kind of gave you a, a, a definitely a, a, like a tailwind that you were really coasting on because yeah. you started playing really well after that. I That's mean, that, when that, I first yeah. started hitting yeah. good yeah. shots back to back well, instead of spraying. You realized you could because yeah. you weren't really trying to. You no. know, you were, you, were, you were trying to give me the rope to hang myself and I was just like, eh, what do I do with this rope? I was scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. honestly, that, that we, we kind of have a... A, a style of play against yep. each other that we sort of like are, are aware of and yep. you know that I mean, it, it helps it's nice playing somebody you've played against before but it also makes it that much tougher it's like leveling up against each other and that was one that was one of the things that uh, I said to Ian was right at that 5-4 point that first point where Mark hits a sky ball literally like inches inches from the yeah, ceiling yeah, yeah. and and you hit a great you know yeah. over overhead from the baseline yeah. but Mark was able to scrap that but that yeah, point yeah. I turned to Ian and I was like Oh, what if? What is is that? Is the, is that the tide yeah, that, that, yeah. that turns it ultimately there? Um, but you know, one thing I wanted to you know say for both of you, what made you guys in such an interesting matchup was because you love and relish kind of being the dictator and mm -hmm. being kind of the one to be offensive and trying to yeah. you know put pressure on the uh, on the opponent. Whereas Mark loves being the defensive guy yeah. to just to just scrap out. Right. And it was very interesting how. 
both your guys' strengths are, you know, kind of combat each other, but then both your guys' to where you're maybe not as comfortable. Like, Scott, maybe if you're having to grind out and you're a little bit on the defense, and sometimes, Mark, like, if you want to, like, you know, regain, regain that offense and really being the dictator, that it was kind of interesting to see how there were just so many ebbs and flows yeah. in the matches. And For even sure. though you guys may have felt like it was... It wasn't, you know, wasn't that good of a match. Ian and I were just up there, just like going, like, this is one of the best matches we yeah. had seen. For and and I, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and yeah, I said, and, joking, and, yeah. and I said, and I said on camera that this is, just watching you guys this is, the, the, this, this for me so is cool. the is the ultimate highlight match that that took place over the uh, the doubles that you guys did. Yeah, yeah. Just because the this, the the theater and the drama, of, especially in the first set where it was just <laughs> like, you know. You, you got up 2-0, all of a sudden Mark breaks back, makes <laughs> yeah, it 2-all. Yeah. You get up another break, up 4-2, Mark breaks back, yeah. and then Mark gets up 5-4 and 5-6. Yeah. You find a way to yeah. gut it out, and then, you know, um, what, were you, what was your initial thought after down, you know, Mark's up 6-5, and what, what allowed you to gut through that first set to where you played such a strong, you know, first, uh, first set tie Yeah, break? like, yeah, tail of two halves there is what he did to me. Um, I think, you know, I, I just... Uh, I felt, you know, a little fresher. I mean, I'm not tired. You know, that, that's the thing. I, one thing I'm, I came in today knowing is that I wasn't going to tuck her out like I did last time, and I, and I feel pretty good. Um, and I think that it was that I, I felt like he was playing a lot more defensively, you know, and that his, his defense was not, not that great. Um, the one thing I thought we both did well was return. I don't think there was a single ace, and there were very... Mm, the I mean, one that went under your armpit? Oh, yeah, that. Yeah. I, 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 that was, you yeah, know, you want to call that one. But I, I don't think that there was any, 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 you know, there were a lot of good serves, but there were a lot of good returns, too. You know, that you, you handled um, my serve just fine. Um, we didn't have a real high percentage of first serves, but the, the return game, I think, was, was really a kind of strong today and it, yeah. it, 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 it which when that happens it makes for a different dynamic in our strategies too and this is and, this match was a complete antithesis to when we first played on mm -hmm. essential tennis yeah. because there was only one break in the first set I yeah think. yeah mm -hmm. and then i think i came away with two breaks but i mean it, it was solid yeah, like yeah. we weren't returning well yeah. especially in the first like five games yeah and here we were breaking each other I left know, and right I, I i i don't think i mentioned it but i i thought that it got like Three two. I thought, like you know, this is this is good tennis. I mean, in, in a in a certain in a certain sense, you know, it wasn't it wasn't the way I wanted to play, but it was, you know, we were kind of back and forth. We were playing chess, and we were really you know, feeling each other out well, you know. And my my take on on that first set was that, you know, at five six, you know, when he was serving, when he was serving, you were serving at six five, right? Six five. Six five. The yeah. first set. I, I just felt like you know that. I had a 50-50 chance of breaking him because that's where we were yeah. in the set anyway. You know, that I felt like if I stepped up, and I think I, I think one of the points I hit was like an inside-in forehand that I just drilled in that game, and I felt I felt like you know, I've got the confidence to make that shot, and just making that shot made you think like oh now I or shoot I have to, I've got to, I've got to you know, I've got to do more you know, and that brought it back, and and you know that really and saying going back to that whole tale of two halves is that that my finish in the first set was your finish in the second set, mm -hmm. and the, uh, my breaker in the first set was your third set breaker. Yep. You know, I mean, it was just that, you know, that really, you know, it, it just it came out that way. You know, I, I'd be interested to see how many points we won head to head, you know, individual points. I think you won. Yeah, I, don't oh. know. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I think more within five. I think it would be pretty close. Yeah. I think you got past me in that breaker. Yeah. So question for both of you. Michael and I counted at least five significant momentum shifts. In the, in the uh, first set alone. Yeah. It was, that was just the first yeah, set? Yeah, first set alone. <laughs> so I'd love to hear from each of you, from your perspective, when, when you're in that position of not playing your A game, not being especially confident, uh, you know, just not feeling great on the court, and yet you see you know, that there's this volatility back and forth, what do you do? What do you tell yourself, uh, any particular strategies or plays you go to to try to swing it back the other way again like when you're in the low place yeah. what do you do to try to swing it i just yell louder in case that wasn't apparent <laughs> enough so sorry elite sports club <laughs> yeah me too um two is i always say to myself he's gonna have to hit so many winners against me to get even a point off me and i think i did that 50 percent of the time mm -hmm. um where i just ran everything down because yeah. i'm a defensive baseliner or yeah. an aggressive baseliner i'm more defensive than yeah. most people um, around my level slash age, where you're a lot more offensive mm -hmm. given, you know, the four or five leagues in your smelly armpit around Milwaukee. So I don't know if you just go for it more, but I definitely just run everything down and just try to get everything around the blue line to bounce, even if it's a forehand slice yeah, off yeah, my yeah, shot. Yeah. 
you know, well, your returns too. You know, that you, you get that ball past the blue line and you say, okay, now we're starting the point. You yeah. neutralize it. And it's, it's a good play. It's something that I was talking to Ian about before our match. I just said that, you know, I know that, you know, where, where you've won matches is where you're able to just, you know, keep getting the ball back and making people miss. You know, that, 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 that's how you win your matches. Or that's how you've won your matches. And where you've lost matches to like Michael or Cole is where that just didn't work. Oh, you know, where work where you were, you, you, you like that. You know, like, please keep putting that ball up on a tee for me so I can hit home runs. And then they're hitting left and right. Left right. And, right. And, yeah. and the one thing that, you know, I wanted to give you kudos to Mark was the fact that even though you're a defensive base runner, you love just the grind. You love like the chaos that kind of happens. Like I feel like sometimes in a match you relish scores like this to where it's not it's not smooth sailing. Like you relish the rough seas of it. Mm -hmm. But it just it was awesome to see that even though you prefer to run around the baseline be defensive that when the moment presented itself you were willing to be offensive. Because yeah. there was one moment to where I think I, I can't remember if it was you were down 3-5, but uh, or if it was a different game, but you were down 15-40, and you won two points in a row, f finishing at the net, yeah. Essenti yeah. essentially to get it to get it back to Deuce. Was yeah. that on this side? Yeah. The net? Yeah. Oh, the volley. Yeah. Yeah. One of one of them, yeah. I think was one of them a lob that I. Yeah. Was one, one of them. One of them was this, and, yeah, then, yeah. and then the other one was a drop yeah. volley, and yeah. then especially after the 6-5 game, and then starting into the. Um, uh, and I said this on the camera that you were just being super aggressive. Yeah. It's just you just were just like, okay, I'm feeling good, and all of a sudden the forehand just started coming alive. That's a ten point tie break. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. And it was just like, and you just felt like nothing. Every not, you could do nothing wrong except for you know the four points it's got back yeah. in it. But until then, like you just couldn't do anything wrong in that forehand. That's what right? I felt like. Uh, oh, uh, forehand is on. Yeah. I wasn't keep going. I wasn't and then, even and, mad at you. Yeah. <laughs> and then and at, at the start of the match, it felt like you you couldn't really find that forehand, and nope. your and your backhand was on. And by the end of the match, it just completely just flipped. Mm -hmm. Like you. We're struggling with your backhand, but even in the tiebreak, you found a couple and you really, you know, unloaded on it. Um, but the forehand just felt like the biggest difference maker in the in, in the end for you. My only regret um, overall, as a strategy over the three set or uh, the two set plus super tiebreak, is I was a little bit too defensive in the backhand, meaning I didn't drive any backhands. I think I only did like two backhand yeah, crossboard yeah, yeah, drives. Yeah. I should have done that more. You did it in the end. But I, yeah, yeah, in the end I did. But well, everything else was pulling but, the trigger down the line. It was going wide. But to a certain to a certain extent though, that's because you I wasn't showing you backhands. Yeah. I was going forehand, forehand, forehand. When you saw backhands, they were uncomfortable shots. Yeah. You know. And, and I think that you, you recognize that well and made adjustments to it. And I saw that you were uh, hitting that deuce slider out wide mm -hmm. for me yeah, to hit a yeah, forehand yeah. turn. That's what I was noticing yeah. too. Well, I kept thinking, okay, now's the time to serve and volley on that. And I just I only did it once. Why didn't you? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, just because I, 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 I guess I felt like you were reading it so well that it was, it was not going to be, you know, a, a really successful shot. And, and the one time I did it, you hit a short ball like right on the line there, and I was like, geez, you know, I had to fight it off. I got it wide on you, but it was not easy. And I thought, if I have to win every shot like that, every point like that, it's going to be a 50-50. I'm not going to, I'm not going to be coming out ahead on it. I don't think. So big thank you to Player Courts for sponsoring this, which is the first match in a bracket challenge. Mark, you advanced to the final. Congratulations. Who am I playing? The winner of me versus Adam. Oh, okay, so it's public now. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. I, I kept the secret. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, you're saying the, the players or whatever? Yeah, yeah. I kept the secret. So anyway, looking ahead, uh, Mark, what are your thoughts on that potential matchup between one of the two of us? I'd rather play you. Yeah, yeah. I'm not offended. <laughs> well, Meaning I want you to win. Well, I fall into the same kind of yeah, category yeah. as Scott, where I'm more of like an impatient, uh, you know, more uh, attacking. And that just plays into your hands really well. Yeah. Whereas Adam would be more than happy to go 100 balls just, like per, yeah, per well, rally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Adam just ran a marathon not that long ago, literally. Literally. Right? literally, <laughs> like, literally no, he was going to run a half marathon. And then he got done with it. He's like, I'm just going to keep going. And, and he <laughs> just, finished the second half. I think he, he might have negative split it in the second half, too. He's, I just, he's, I just, he's a maniac. Wait, you could do that? You could do a half marathon and just, oh, I'm going to keep going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, well, that, that a lot of times. You have to run a marathon to find that out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. I'm not going to do that. Well, you know, if it's not <laughs> an out and back, if it's, if it's not an out and back, if it's a, you know, a one way, then you can do it. Yeah. I think Ira summed up Adam perfectly. He's just a pit bull that bites yeah. your leg and just won't let go. He's got to yeah, kick yeah, him in yeah. the Right. No. <laughs> I remember yeah. that quote. Yeah. See, I think had I played Adam more, I might have been, I might have come out on top. <laughs> and there awesome. was, you know, I, I don't know. And if I, no, I, pl I, went, I played him once here, but like you, he you and know. I were, were hitting. We were supposed to hit a few weeks ago, but um, it, it fell through. Oh, okay. But I mean, he, he's like the best hitting partner, you know, because yeah. like that, he, that for me, he makes me hit the winners. And then come in and, and not like on you today. I hit a good shot, and then I'd be like, oh, 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 here comes back, and then I'd miss the volley, you know. And you know that he never lets me do that. Okay. Yeah. 
Well, I'm going to do everything I can to make sure I play you in the finals. Yeah, Good. yeah. Can you get some Rogaine or just for men? <laughs> Rogaine, isn't it? Rogaine is one of the gross. <laughs> yeah, no, just, just for men. Gross. <laughs> just for men, yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm tempted to make a bet, but I should probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Let Sansa pick the color. Yeah, you're over for oh, two. Pink yeah. and then blue. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're, you're hey, over, we you're, didn't say anything about it. You're over for two, Ian. That's true. Yeah, I should probably, yeah, I should cut my losses. 2,000 and 20 over two. All right, well, gentlemen, thank you. Appreciate it. You know, as always, just putting yourself out there yeah. and for uh, coming, competing buddy. on camera. Great match, good fight. We enjoyed watching it very, very much. Thanks to everybody watching at home. We enjoyed... Um, playing it i think that we didn't enjoy the 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 nuts and bolts of it so much the strokes but we enjoyed playing it because i mean we both like to fight so it was good stuff and i've tried to good job, this in the confessional camera yeah, there you. please uh, also if you want to check over to um to my page um with um doing it with uh, another coach will east oh, yeah, yeah. um performance tennis training um and we're gonna we're working on some more videos right now and we're hoping to put in some some match play as, as some other one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching videos so um performance tennis training uh, like and subscribe to that as well as mark's channel yep. and of course ian's the godfather essential tennis channel brody we gotta get you a youtube channel yeah. oh, i got a youtube channel you do yeah is it Torben? Oh, what is it? It's my son. Uh, <laughs> you can see him playing piano and then me and him hitting when he was like four years old. <laughs> awesome. it's, not, it's not like a public thing, you know. Subscribe like, to Torben. Yeah, subscribe to Scott Brody. <laughs> Toxic Tennis no. Memes, IG, <laughs> link down in the description below. All right, all right, we're <laughs> yeah, 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 no, Do subscribe because my son keeps asking me, do I have any more subscribers? I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> my son asks me like every day yeah, if he yeah, has really? more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so your key PR indicator right there. He's, I told him a little boss If we got to 100, he'd get a pizza. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you. In.